we're just going to talk and I can cut out parts that we don't want to keep in. So we can talk. Where do we talk? Uh, green dot. Green dot. That's right. So the visual we see just tells us what they can see. But if we look at ourselves, they will think that we're looking off camera. So we look at the green dot. Okay, I'm gonna roll and I'll ask you questions and we'll just flow and talk. It's just you and me. Cool? Cool. My eyes might go to my face. That's okay. It's okay, and then just go back to the green dot. Yeah. Every time you think about it, just go to the green dot. Mm -hmm. Hi, welcome back to Lakeside Quilt Making Arts. I have a very favorite guest with me today. It's one of my favorite, actually. This is Asher, my great nephew. You've heard me talk about him in the last couple of videos when I've talked about getting him so that we can work on his quilt. This is not his quilt. Asher, whose is this? This is my cousin's Liam. Yes, Liam, his cousin. And his cousin is two and a half years younger than he is. And hopefully I'll get to see him next week. This is the Mars quilt that we've been working on. Uh, I've been working on it since I think sep the middle of September off and on. And it's on hold while I work on the unicorn quilt, which I worked on last night and I got pretty far. I did one of the videos released today and the other half of it will release tomorrow. That's my plan. If not, you may not see it till next week. I may just produce a video for just what we're doing here and then produce a video for the follow-up of the unicorn quilt next week. I'm not sure yet. Just stay tuned to the channel and, and I'll let you know on a post. So the reason that Asher is here, not the only reason, but one of the reasons that he's on camera with us today is because Asher is a quilter. He started quilting last summer and did a bang up job. Did you enjoy it, Asher? Yes. What part of it did you like? Um, probably every part. Yeah, but he did every stitch. We'll, we will cover this up with a sheet and then put his blocks on here and show you guys and explain to you what, what he did and everything. He got pretty dang far. We did that last summer between my two surgeries and then um, I didn't get to have him back all last fall and then my dog had her surgery and here we are at spring break. But thank goodness for spring break. So what when you think about your quilt, Asher, do you think about it visually or do you think about the experience of quilting it piecing it together uh i think about the experience yeah i mean you were very meticulous you sat at that sewing machine and just did the work you did were you proud of yourself yeah i was proud of you can you see yourself using your quilt forever and ever? I might pass it down to my sister one day. We could make one for her. In fact, I've been thinking about one for her that has a corgi on it. Maybe a corgi and um, a parrot. Yeah. And some butterflies and rainbows. It sounds like Faith, doesn't it? His sister is one and a half years old. And so I like for her to be a little bit more aware before she gets a quilt. And now I don't mind giving her one now at all. I just don't have the bandwidth to do everybody's all at once, clearly, because this has taken me since September and his has been going on since summer. <laughs> Nothing happens too quickly. <laughs> do you want to help me get this covered up with a sheet and put your blocks on here? Uh, sure. Let's do that. I'm going to show everybody what we've got. Is there something else you want to tell people about your experience? Um, uh, I don't know. That's fine. You don't have to have anything to say. Didn't want to put you on the spot, but I didn't want to cut you off if you were thinking about anything. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing. Okay. Let's get your, get this covered up so we can keep it intact. And actually what I want to do is I want to make sure that we've got all of these little blocks pinned down so that they don't come flying off. And then we put a sheet on top and then we can secure yours on top of the sheet. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Guess what I found upstairs while Asher was ironing? This was on the floor underneath the ironing board. Remember me asking you guys yesterday to tell me where I may have seen it last? Because I knew I had it recently. I guess when I took the ironing board upstairs, I had it in my hand or it was caught up inside the ironing board somehow. Anyway, mystery solved. Now we're going to put this freshly ironed sheet up on top of the Mars quilt so we cover it up and we can put up Asher's blocks. All right. Let's do this deep and lay in. We could put yours on top of this, but I just feel like it would make it harder to see your blocks. We need a neutral background. Can you come hand me some pins? Oh, yeah. How many do you need? Let's just start with one at a time, please. Like this perfect portion of like clear and like flat uh, sheet, and then like right next to it is like a ton of wrinkles. <laughs> Big. It still looks better than it did, right? Yeah. In my opinion, this spot. This part looks better than this part. <laughs> oh, I move all these pins. Yeah, but actually we're going to find even to put the blocks up. Um, you go get your blocks. I had a ton of blocks. Yes, you do. Okay, let's take a look at your box and see what we've got. How well, see how well you remember them. I know there was a sun one. Pins on top of the lid so they're kind of contained. The last thing we want is Zoe to step on one of them. Yeah. We don't want that to Zoe. Does Zoe need to go outside? All right, let's take a look. Oh, I remember after you left, I cut all the sashings. Do you remember what that is? Um, like the extra? The strips that go between the blocks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good to get re familiar with the blocks. Isn't that like great? Yeah. Close in on close in on the camera, let them see it. Oh god. And go up so they can see the bottom of it. Isn't that great? I love it. Okay, let's start put, putting them up. I think we had this sashing on the right hand side. I don't remember. It's going to be a little awkward because there are some pins back there. I need a pin. Did we put, is it over here? Yeah. Yeah. How many pins do we have? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve left. Okay. I think we had like 32 mm. things. Oh, did we? Yeah, so, well, like 20 something. I just know that we had a lot. Yeah. You did so good, bud. I'm just <laughs> telling you, you did really good. Okay, I'm gonna go get some more pens. We have to be just smaller so it's easier for them to get lost and fall on the floor and Zoe get hurt. So we have to be real thoughtful about that, okay? Yeah. These at least have a, a big head on them. Is the sewing machine already set up? No, we'll get that set up. I think I have it in the dining room. 
I can't tell you what a delight it is to do this with you. It really is. I need to show you some quilts that I saw on somebody's YouTube. They're from a, um, a show, you know, like the show we're gonna go to Friday. It's one called, it's a big one, it's like an international one. It's called Quilt Con. Very impressive quilts, like it's inspiring. There are a lot of men that participate. Try and enter. Yeah. It's just a lovely idea. I like it a lot. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. Can you see it in your bedroom on your bed? Yeah. Oh, it looks so good, buddy. Yeah, it's so good. Well, it's either like that or like that because these vertical ones are, all the other ones have this against the vertical strip and not like that. So do you want that moon there or do you want that moon up there? No, uh, right there. Okay, so then right sides together. That would be a wrong side, and that would be a wrong side, and that's the right side, and that's the right side. The side that is pretty is called the right side. So oh. you, you line that up at the top and bottom, and you got to be particular. Um, just kind of scratch it into place, get your pen in. Oh, yeah, I kind of remember. Yeah, and um, I think you did the pinning for me though. Did I? Yeah. You think that you can do it now though? Because um, the thing is, you gotta lay it flat because if there's, if you pin it, if you end up pinning it like that, you're gonna have puckering. So you've gotta make sure that it's laying flat so that it's. See how well that's going to line up? Mm -hmm. And how well that's going to line up? Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure that your pinning is quality pinning. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, make sure I've got everything set right. Yeah. Okay? Get you some light from behind while we've got outside light. Yeah. Now, if you remember, this outside edge goes against this. It's a little trick with the tree. Did you, did you notice how nice and squared up your blocks are? Mm -hmm. They're not wonky at all. And it's because you made excellent seams last time. And we probably used this. So you can feel it, like you just kind of hold it right up against this, and then it will go right in there where it's supposed to. But you need a finger up here close, not inside there, right? You don't put a needle through your finger that will like ruin our day. But holding it up against this. Yeah. Not not pulling it away from the needle. Kind of, you know, keeping it here, but at the same time letting the fabric flow. Make sense? It's not going to the speed that I want it to. Speed? Yeah. Are oh, you wanting to go faster or slower? Slower. Yeah, it's got you gotta have a real light foot.
We will get you a leader vendor. or do you want to do that? Uh, probably this. Okay. Good job. Excellent. Okay. Since we're not going to the end, we can't really put an ender in. So we're going to look the dogs, pull our needle up, pull this out so we get a lot of thread, put one in, and take a few stitches to lock it, and now you can use your scissors to detach all that. I wonder if they're underneath here. Excellent. So make a stack and then you'll iron all of them at one time. Yeah. And then get the next one sewn. So I think it's easier and more, you can do a more accurate pinning if you have it here in front of you versus over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got some cords here, don't we? So, line up the, the corners, make sure that edge and that edge are lined up. Okay. Okay. So, uh, it's like a little bit longer. Yeah, it just. Get that right there. So you're trying to not put your pin in there. Here? Uh, you start on top. Start on. Let me put this one in for you. 
put in closer it's closer that that is sort of the slide. So you're starting from the top and you come out like that. Okay. Whoa. All right. And so then we're gonna lay it flat against that, come to this other end. And if this is longer, it's okay, because you can always trim that off. Yes. But if it's shorter, then we've got a problem. We need to talk about how to handle that. But you want to make sure that you're flat and level with both pieces or flush with each other. And you are right here. So I put a pin right here. Okay, I'm just going to try that up real quick. You can put one in the middle and we'll put one here first. Secure that. Okay, now do one in the middle. Make sure before you do though that it hasn't slipped and that your edges are perfect against each other. Awesome. Very proud of you. Oh, goodness. Let me pull your pen out before your needle gets to it. As soon as that, this is called the foot. As soon as the foot has grasped your fabric, then you can pull that needle out. I think it's grasped it. Yeah, it feels like it's got it enough. It's not going to slide. Superb. Excellent job. Deciding which side is yeah. going to be upright. Okay, good job. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to do some of these. Do you know why you like ironing? You said it was because. 
you can see it go from wrinkled to unwrinkled and yeah. flat. Is it warm yet? Is it giving off heat? Yeah. yeah. Make sure you're not creating wrinkles, so like make sure that's flat. Yeah. Careful at that point, you don't touch your arm with it. Yeah. Very good. And what's hard is to when there's other seams that you don't mess up the old seams when you're working the new seams. Yeah. You had to be aware of those. I'm thinking about something. Lift up your iron. There you go. See if you don't do better if you're attacking it from this direction. That way you can get most of it without messing with the other seam over there for the most part. And then you may want to play that seam back down. Use this for a second. Good job. Okay, press that seam again. And then we're gonna put this clapper on it. No, I'm sorry. This one right there. Get that nice and flat. All the way down. Without, don't, so you're gonna be messing up your other seam. So you wanna keep your iron coming up. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now, put that there. And let it dry. Let the heat release into this and it will flatten that back out. Hmm. Excellent. I got a question for you. Do you still like your quilt? Yes. Yeah? Good. Good. I'm going to talk to the camera here for a second. And with that, my friends, we're going to call this video done. Thank you for visiting today and, and being on this journey with me and with Asher. We appreciate your... It, <laughs> it's great fun. I, it just means the world to me to have him enjoying this too. I showed him some of the quilts from QuiltCon and trying to excite him into maybe entering one day, and he's all about it. We're going to go on Friday to the local quilt show, so I'm excited for him to see that too. Regarding the unicorn quilt, I didn't get anything done today, so there's nothing to show you. But tomorrow, we only have one outing. We're up and running for his quilt, so I should be able to work alongside him tomorrow and get a little bit of work done on the unicorn quilt. Hope so. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, it was not recording. Let's do that again. We were too good, too good at it too. <laughs>